Hi, I'm Mark Graham, engineering manager here at Gorilla Grills. Today I'm going to teach you how to swap out the igniter on the Gorilla. All right, to swap out the igniter, the first thing we're going to do is going to go to the back of the grill. We're going to remove the service panel. We're going to cut some wire ties to expose the plugs. We're going to unplug the igniter. We're going to get inside here, remove four screws, pull the burn pot out. That will give us access to the igniter. Simply unscrew it, slide it out, put the new one back in, adjust it to three-eighths of an inch, tighten it back up, run it back through, plug it in, secure the wires, and we're all set. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we got to do is remove this rear service panel to get us into the harness, and we can cut some ties, and that'll give us access to the components. All right, now that we got this freed up, you can see these wires are all bundled together, so I'm simply going to use a pair of side cutters and carefully. All right, so now we got them all freed up. You can see the igniter is going to be your white and purple. It's going to go into these two white braided wires, which is actually your igniter itself. So simply unplug that. Make sure this wire is free off to the side. Now we're going to step inside uh, and remove the burn pot. All right, so now that I got this out, you can see there's a screw here that holds the igniter in place. Uh, sometimes it's good to use like a WD-40 or something on that. These things can, uh, with all the heat, they can get a little sticky. So make sure you use a good screwdriver and again, put some lubricant on there. Work it loose. You shouldn't need to turn it much and then your igniter will slide right out. When you get your new one in, you're going to slide it through the barrel. I'll show you in a minute, but what I want to show you why I had it out is when you get it back in position, what you should see is about three-eighths of an inch sticking out. So again, we're going to shove that thing back here in a minute. I'll show you. When you get it in the burn pot, make that adjustment, tighten your screw back up, and then it'll be good to go. So let's get it fed back through. All right, so you can see the igniter here. I'm simply going to pull it through, put it into my adjustments right, which basically is flush on the back here. I know from experience when it's flush on the back, it's about right. Just snug that up. You do not need to get that super tight. Confirm there's about my distance I need. Slide that back in. Twist it. Get all your holes lined up. Put your four screws back in. And we're going to plug it back in in the back and secure the wires and uh, you're good to go.